Hi everyone, Anne and Renata here in England uh, on this year's adventure to Ireland and England and Amsterdam. And currently we are in Sheffield and we've come out today to have a look at some of the oldest places in the city. And we're currently going to uh, be going into the oldest timber framed house still standing in Sheffield. And there are some ghost stories attached to it. So we'll be able to give you a little report on those as we go around. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoy it. Bit chilly here today. It's uh, two days off summer. It's freezing, <laughs> as you do. Now, I'm not sure if we can get inside, but we can certainly go for a wander around and have a yeah. look. We'll peer through the windows and see if we can see the ghosts. Yes. There she be. Look at that. I love these old buildings. They have such a lean on them. Look at the roof line. I don't know if you can see it from here, but it is all very wonky. The uh, beams are on a lean <laughs> and the roof is sagging in places, but it is glorious. Did you know that uh, this place has many, I've got to look at this word, okay, cheating. apotropaic marks, which what? are witch marks oh, inside witch the marks. house. Oh, yes. And that's okay. kind of a superstitious thing that people used to do to uh, protect the home from evil spirits. That's why we can't get in today. Yeah. It's been protected <laughs> from us coming in. Let's yes, so there were burn. Oh. There's supposed to be burn marks in there because uh, timber buildings used to f um, burn a lot, so they put burn marks in to stop that from happening. So sympathetic magic going on there, and of course the daisy wheels, which were the the witch symbols to protect from the evil of the witches. But look at that place. Look at the walls. Wow. Also, the building has some Marian marks, which are two Vs um, for the Virgin Mary as a protection. Oh, yes. Thing. We've seen those yeah. somewhere else. Yeah. Well, they were happening in buildings in Australia as well. Yeah. yeah. Here we are. Have, have a look, look at... You can see the lean a little bit better there. So you want me to tell you what's on the sign here? Yeah. I'll just repeat it for you. Uh, Bishop's House is one of the earliest and best preserved timber framed, house, timber framed houses still surviving uh, in Sheffield. It was built around 1500. Isn't that crazy? 1500. And has been extended and altered by its various owners over the last 500 years. The name comes from a local tradition that two bishops grew up here, though there is no evidence to support uh, this theory. And look, as we know from ghost hunting, who needs evidence? <laughs> Just make <laughs> shit up. And it makes, a, it makes a good story. That's all we need, isn't it? Yes, yes, yes. Now, there are two ghost stories oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. share with this house. One is of a grey lady. Of course there's a grey lady. Which is mm -hmm. interesting because if two bishops, bishops um, were here, what was she doing here? But never mind. She was the maid. Um, and she may peek I out of the window. I think ladies are pretty safe. She may peek out of the windows if people come and look into the house. Shall we peek? And uh, there's also a rocking chair inside that is allegedly supposed to rock on its own without anyone sitting in it. Mm. Are we going to peek? We, of course we're going to peek. What are we going to do if we see someone in there? We'll knock and go, hey. Hello. It's Anna and Renata. Can we come in? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> are you going in? Can you see? No, you can see me. You can see my reflection. I don't think you can actually see inside. We'll pop some photos up. There's a, a table in there with some crockery and stuff on it. Let me try and just get a... Can hardly see anything from inside. Oh, look at the old beams. Wood and the slate.
Go and have a look inside. And they'd have to put these uh, bars and things up because silly people are throwing stones at the windows. I don't know why they think it's fun to break shit, but they do. So it's open on Saturdays and Sundays, which, you know, we're not here. So we'll make do. Did you just find out an interesting fact, Renata? Yeah, this house was lived in until 1976, and that's why they think it uh, survived so well. Because it's had people who cared. And she's off on her phone recording. <gasps> So whoever was lucky enough to be in this house had this beautiful view of Sheffield. I must have had a little garden here at some stage. This does sit in a park and there is a uh, public thoroughfare through here as well. So people actually go past this building every single day. Here's the back door. What did we find? A convict mark, isn't it? Uh, no, I think it's a... Um, uh, oh, when they're marking out plots of land and things, it's a kind surveyor's of a mark. surveyor's mark. Oh, I'm getting all excited. Sorry. Beautiful Tudor-style building. No, they used to always bury things right under the doorstep too to protect the building. I wonder if there's anything here. As we wandered off into the distance, completely forgetting what we were doing, squirrelling away quite happily, we forgot to do our wrap-up. We lost some of the footage. But I hope you enjoyed our trip to Sheffield's Bishop House. Stay tuned for more Crazy Misadventures with Anne and Renata.